Hey guys, thanks for joining us again. Uh, my name is Ben McCormick. I'm the head golf professional here at Tanglewood Golf Course in Taylorsville, Kentucky. And today, I'm going to be working with Max. His parents are nice enough to get him some lessons for Christmas with myself. So um, we're going to go over a couple things today. Uh, the first being grip, uh, the second being aim, and the third being setup, which are great fundamentals to learn as you start to begin to play the game of golf, which will help you later on down the road when things get a little bit more technical throughout the golf swing. Um, so i got Max here. Max, thanks again for joining me. Um, go ahead and set up your grip here. And let me see what we're using. All right. First thing I noticed is Max is using an interlock grip uh, where he's taking his left index finger and he's going to interlock it with his right pinky. Uh, that creates a good firm hold there. What I see with a lot of amateurs, they'll use a uh, called 10 finger grip or a baseball grip to where these two hands on the club are work, almost working against each other. So by using that interlock, or interlock grip, I should say, um, they help the hands work together throughout the golf swing. So it's a great, solid grip for him to be using, especially as a beginner. It's good to see that you already have that. Um, next, if you could just open up this hand for me. All right, so Max here has a lot of this grip in the palm of his hand, which we want it in the fingers. So take that left hand and have the grip on through the fat parts of your fingers. So one, two, three, up to here. There you go. And then that one will rest on there. And what that does, with, with it gripping in the palms, um, this first V on his left hand was actually pointing to his left shoulder to where now when you grip it in the fingers, it helps him get his hand over a little bit more and gets those two Vs pointing towards his right side, which is primarily what I look for when I look for a good solid grip. So just that one correction alone, um, it kind of self-fixes itself. So you've got these two Vs pointed over to this side. And the last thing about grip is your grip pressure to where if you could just bring your club up here to me, Max. And see how he's pulling? I can almost tug him away. I can walk around with him if I wanted to. Um, with this, I want him to just to lighten it up a little bit to where I'm not pulling his body a little bit more low. There you go. So with good grip pressure, um, it's, it's nice and relaxed. It's tight enough to hold on to the club. It's still loose enough to where um, it's not going to make any of your muscles and your arms tense up. What I see a lot is people strangle the club. They want to grip it and hold on to it hard so they think they're going to hit it further. When in fact, um, a looser grip actually helps you hit the ball a little bit more consistent. Um, if you guys can stick around and move into our second segment of this um, with the aim, if not, um, be sure to come back and check us out um, for another video. Also, check us out on Facebook, Tanglewood.com, or Tanglewood Golf Course, I'm sorry. Uh, website being www.golftanglewood.com. Um, thanks again, and we'll see you soon.